What's up everybody? I wanted to do a quick video because I got a comment on uh, one of my previous videos that I did, uh, the one about spraying the cannabis buds with BT to control the worms. Uh, somebody said, oh, you know, ew, that's a pesticide, you wouldn't want to smoke that weed. Um, and if it, if it indeed was a chemical pesticide, I would be right there with you. I would have never sprayed it on the plants, let alone uh, advertised it uh, to the public to do so. Uh, so I wanted to just talk about what BT is real quick. I've got a bottle of it here. Controls uh, caterpillars and fruits and vegetables and ornamentals, shrub trees, shrub trees. It's armory listed for organic gardening. It is a biological insecticide, not a chemical insecticide. And if you look here, the uh, total or the um, the Bacillus thuringiensis uh, subspecies Kerstaki, Kerst, yeah, Kerstaki, I think it's called, makes up most of what's in this. The other part of it is a liquid solution that the culture is suspended in. Um, what this does is you get it on your plants. This year, I'm actually spraying it on the plants before the buds form. Last year, I sprayed it once we were about halfway through flower. And it did the job, it did control them, but I want to see if I can stop them completely by, uh, sorry about that, stop them completely by spraying before flowers even happen. And once flowering starts happening, I'm going to continue to spray them uh, throughout. Uh, so real quick, what it does, the bacteria in these, uh, in this solution, there are billions, let's see, six million viable spores per milligram of this bacteria uh, that you're spraying onto your leaves. Again, it occurs naturally in the soil um, and does do some good against insects there, against invasive insects there, but there's just not enough of it on the leaves and stems and buds of certain plants like weed uh, for it to really do a good job, so you have to add it. There's bacteria and fungus and f spores, fungal spores, bacteria, viral spores. There's everything floating around all the time, no matter where you are. If you grow inside, if you grow outside, it does not matter. Your weed is covered in environmental bacteria. Bt is a huge environmental bacteria. Adding more to your flowers is not going to hurt anything. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to hurt the flowers. The only thing it's going to hurt is those fucking worms, and that's what we want to hurt. So, you know, I see it as a win-win, 100% all natural ingredients. Um, if you've ever eaten a brassica from the grocery store, cabbage, um, co uh, collard greens, yeah, uh, you know, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, anything like that, anything from the brassica group, if you've ever eaten anything like that from a grocery store, you were ingesting BT by the trillions. Um, and that's because far farmers can use BT up until literally the day that they pick, that they can spray it and pick it and put it in a package and take it to you and you can eat it raw and nothing bad will happen to you because BT occurs naturally everywhere and it's not harmful to humans, it's only harmful to worms. And uh, you, there, there are certain BTs that are harmful to other types of insects, but there aren't any that I know of that are harmful to human beings. So, um, and, and also, look, I, I sprayed BT all over the buds that I uh, grew last year. I smoked them all. I came down with no ill effects, and I am here right now. Uh, nothing, nothing bad at all occurred with it. Um, so give that a try. If you have problems with worms, give it a try. I wouldn't spray neem oil. I wouldn't spray, I, I literally would not spray anything on my buds aside from BT, ever, like at all, in any stage of growth. Um, so yeah, it, it's, like I said, it's, it's worth a shot if you have worms. Do not be afraid of it. It's not a chemical. It is simply a shitload of bacteria in some water and, uh, and they do the job really, really well. So, yeah, give it a try, and uh, let me know what you think. I'll talk to you later. Bye.